In today's video, I'm gonna do a review on the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation and the Flame Star Bronze and Glow. So this is mine. I am in the shade One Fair. One Fair is the lightest shade in this range. And on their website, they have this thing that you can key in whatever foundation they've used before and they will help you match your shade um, from what you've used to whatever you're trying to get so yeah um, I used that system and I got this and it's a perfect match for shade reference I am using the Dior Forever foundation in 010 that's the lightest shade for that range of foundation and I'm also currently using the MAC Studio Fix Plus in N6 if I'm not mistaken that's also the lightest shade and I have yellow undertone so if you're trying to color match by watching my video that's that for my skin I have very dry skin at the moment and I might have some dry patches because I have eczema around and also discoloration freckles that's about it in today's demo I'm gonna use two methods of application one is with a sponge and one is with a foundation brush let's start um, the bottle says shake before use so remember to do that as you can see it's pretty high in fluidity because it's a light it's a light um, coverage foundation so I'm gonna do brush in this side of the face and sponge in this side of the face and we will compare if different application would help in different different coverage and I have a scar right here I dropped my iPad on my face yesterday so we'll see if this foundation is um, able to slightly cover that up this is one thin layer so before and after it definitely even out the skin tone makes you look like you have very good sleep very well rested face and it's very natural it doesn't look like you have makeup on at the moment it doesn't cling on to any um, dry patches if there is any and it's really glowy it's a very everyday it looks like skin it looks like you have really good skin okay I'm gonna move on to the other side of the face with a sponge This foundation doesn't dry out really fast as well. It doesn't set and not allow you to move. Cause the Dior Forever foundation, it tends to set and it, you might have difficulty in blending, but this doesn't. The instant difference that you can see by using a sponge and a brush is that the sponge leaves you a lot of glow. But the sponge, mattify slightly just slightly it's still really glowy but if I'm looking into the um, mirror it's glowy here but it's matte here can you see yeah you have you have a lot more product on this side of the face than using a sponge so this is a layer of using the sponge Alright, I'm gonna go in on a second layer to see how, how beautiful this foundation is. I think um, if you have, you know, red scars or 
red area like around the nose, around the lips, you are able to cover that up. I'm not using any concealer, this is just the foundation. Okay, this is the second layer. Definitely beautiful with um, both sponge and brush. And one thing that I realized using sponge and a brush, it's that the foundation actually sits better when you're using a sponge because you're pressing, pressing it in. I don't know if you can see. But it has no trace. If you look closely on this side, you sort of can tell this person is wearing makeup. But this one, it sits so nicely. It just almost absorbs into the skin. There's no trace of foundation, but just let me try. So for the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow foundation, I did a 3 day wear test, a 3 different occasion foundation day wear test. And my verdict is, it's a beautiful, beautiful, lightweight, comfortable, glowy base. It's very suitable for every day and if you don't have much that you want to cover, you just want to even on a skin tone, very natural, it's amazing. And it applies best with your finger because I try brush and sponge on the other two different occasion um, you can see the product don't sit nicely it just doesn't blend into the skin when you're using tools it, it sits perfectly like it just sink into your skin with fingers so from now on onwards I'll only use finger um, for application and no brush no sponge Alright, we're gonna move on with the Film Star Bronze and Glow. The packaging of the Film Star and Bronze and Glow really like. Oh my god. It opens up like this. And then like this. I really like Charlotte Tilbury's packaging because they have this star in all of their packaging. Like for example, here. Oops. Where is the star? Here. And even in all of their palettes. Look at this gorgeous. Ooh. So, this is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. I am in the shade Light Medium. This is the embossing. I'm going to compare this one to my Charlotte Tilbury Glow Glasm palette because in here there's. Um, a bronzer and a highlighter as well. I'm gonna swatch them and see if if they are similar enough for you to skip one of the palette. This is the bronzer from the Glowgasm palette. This is the sculpting shade from the Bronze and Glow. And this is my favorite contouring powder. So yeah, just comparing. Alright, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. blush brush. Gives you a really nice shading around this area. I wouldn't mind using this to shade all around the face except the nose because I've tried it to shade to contour with this powder around the nose. It's really it's just too orange. I think you can get away if you blend out really well by shading your jaw. I'm going to use this side with the bronze and glow but I'm going to go in with my um, contouring powder on this side and sh see if you can tell the difference. I definitely can. This is a lot more natural. It looks like, you know, you have a very strong jaw instead of makeup. Do you see it's a lot more orange? And this is this baby. So now I'm gonna compare the highlighter from this two palette. This is from the Film Star Bronze and Glow. This one is from the Glowgasm palette. 
They are very very similar I think when you apply it on your cheek You know, you might not see a big difference I think one thing about Charlotte Tilbury's product They look, even like for powder product They look so nice on the skin It looks like it's um It looks like it's liquid If you wanna If you want an insight A full review on this palette I have a, a video on it I'll link it on the description um, Box below Alright, let me go in with And the tip of the nose If you're a person that likes really natural everyday makeup oh. <sighs> This is so pretty This is so pretty And I think the whole brand, the, entire, the Charlotte Tilbury brand is just so addictive If you watch their makeup tutorial on YouTube and their entire the packaging, the whole message of the the brand, it's just it's a it's a lot of magic and wonder when you're using their product. It feels really it is an ex expensive brand, so you know you definitely feel really luxurious. If you have well, okay, a summary for the um, Wonder Glow. If you have texture skin, if you have serious scarring. You need a lot of coverage. If you're a person that in general like matte and high coverage, don't try this. This is not your thing. This is like an everyday, really like, really light um, foundation. Definitely buildable to a medium. I'm really happy on how it's able to build up to like a medium like coverage. Oh my god. And the highlighter. If you have this palette, do you need this palette? You don't need it realistically, but if you like the brand and you enjoy makeup, I'll think it both. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god, I am like Okay, I need to like stop staring at myself. So yeah, I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!